Hi guys, I just wanted to give you a quick shot of the bag of the day, which is my Get Carried Away tote in Sun Valley by Vera Bradley. And I do talk about this bag a lot, and I just really want you to be aware of how much stuff you can fit in this bag, and the versatility of this travel bag is amazing. I originally purchased it for a beach bag because I am a family of five, and I really don't like carrying a million bags for everyone, so I purchased this and the Stay Cooler in Sun Valley as well, as well, specifically for the beach. But I also have a business uh, where a friend of mine and myself make hair accessories and I carry a lot of things around with me on a daily basis when I am making things or purchasing things for the business. And this is my go-to bag. So I wanted to just give you quickly an idea. I'm going to empty it for you so that you can see it, um, what it is exactly that I have in this bag. So I just wanted to give you the shot of it on the floor. It's a little dark and I'm going to empty it. So I'm going to switch the vantage point. I'm going to shut you off for a minute, switch the point on the camera and then empty it for you. So hang out one minute guys. Okay guys, I'm back. I put you at a different angle. I'm in my sitting room today. So it's a little different than I normally film in the bathroom, but I wanted to go ahead and give you a good shot of the get carried away tote. And this is fully packed with things that I carried around with me to a trade show over the weekend, a vendor show. And also today when I was out creating some stuff and making purchases for my side business, for my business, I'm just rotating it to show you how full to capacity this bag is. Now, I'm going to go ahead and go like this. It's not zipped. Hopefully you can see that. See that? I didn't zip it because of the way I filled it today. But it does zip. I just needed everything in one bag today. Usually I split it up into two this in the Ellie bag, but this is everything in here that I would normally split between two bags that get carried away and the Ellie bag. So I'm going to go ahead and empty it and I want you to be able to see. I'm going to start with the interior part and let me just get you a higher angle so you can see. So this is the baby bottle caddy in Lily Bell. I'm going to have to bring you down and in here it's sort of that outside uh, material so it makes it water resistant and waterproof and it's also insulated. In here I have my scissors and my wood burning tool. I'm not going to go through every exact everything that's inside because it would take forever but I just these things I want you to realize that I never use them for baby bottles. I don't have any babies that have bottles anymore and even when I did I solely breastfed and didn't use bottles but these are perfect for my wood burning tool which is almost the same height and my scissors. So that was in there. And then I have another one in dogwood. And in here I have some adhesive stuff that I need for when I'm making hair bows. That was in there. My makeup case in Baroque. And this is the largest piece of a cosmetic trio. And that is filled with everything I needed because I did my makeup outside of my house today. So my moisturizer and everything is in there. So that was in there. I feel like Mary Poppins with this bag. I keep pulling things out. Largest piece in... Why can't I remember this? Lime's Up. Largest piece of a cosmetic trio in Lime's Up. And that has my order book in it, so it stayed rather thin. Medium piece of the cosmetic trio in Lime's Up. That has some pieces I need to work with when I'm making hair bows. And that's all just down without putting it into the amazingly large six pockets in the interior of this bag. This is just all loose in the main cavity. E-reader in Rhythm and Blues. That carries some other things that I need when I'm making things. I have all my supplies in various bigger pieces. Still not pulling anything out of the interior pockets, just the open cavity. This is the big plastic bin that I put all my ribbons in, and these are scrapbooking bins that I got in for your scrapbooking paper. You can see that they're just, they're not that deep, and they're perfect to house ribbons in and fit down in my bags. Got that Michaels, I think, for $2.99. I'm gonna have another one of those in there. So I had two of these side by side this way. In the main cavity, I have a mirror, which I'm just gonna show you the back of, but this is a mirror, and I use this to cut ribbon on with my wood burning tool because the mirror doesn't burn or cut. Okay, still in the main cavity of the bag, largest cosmetic trio, in, uh, not cosmetic trio, largest cosmetic bag, large 
cosmetic bag in Lola that I have a lot of supplies in. But inside of this, I have the smallest piece of the cosmetic trio in Limes Up that has things in it. Small cosmetic in Lola that has things in it. And then a bunch of headband supplies. And I still have room in it. That was in there as well. Ow, ow. I'm going to go ahead and take this ruler out because I keep stabbing myself on. But this ruler, 12 inch ruler, was down in the interior pocket that has that plastic lining in the bag like that. And I just needed to take it out because I kept ramming my hand into it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and tilt the bag over so you can see what I'm working on now. And I'm still only emptying the cavity. I'm not taking anything out that's in these pockets yet. Now I have another e-reader sleeve. And this one has more supplies that I use when I'm making hair bows and hair accessories. Uh, and that one was in Plum Crazy? No, not Plum Crazy. <sighs> I don't remember, guys. Um, anyway, hat box in Provencal, and this keeps is where I house my glue gun and all my sewing. Um, and it's getting a little bent in because I had this so packed today, but my sewing supplies as well. Okay, still in the main cavity of the bag. Pipe cleaners fell out. They were in there. I have the medium piece, medium cosmetic bag, not piece, medium cosmetic bag in Lola, and it has things in it. It's not really even filled up, but I have it. I don't think I have anything else in there as far as pieces of Vera. Okay, so the main, and then just a loose pen. Boar's head, got that free at the deli. Just fell out. Now we're going to talk about the pockets. And here's the zipper part um, that zips closed like that. But today, and I do zip it when I don't carry things that are so tall, but today I needed to overfill. And I would consider this overfilled, but it still carried everything. It was just a little heavy to carry. Okay, so you have six pockets. One, actually I have eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then two on the side. And these have a plastic in them. So you can put like um, anything that's wet in there, which I, I like. If the beach, that's where my flip-flops are going to go if they get wet. In this pocket, I have some of these, um, we call them shabby rosettes. And that's part of the material that I use when I make my headbands and hair bows. And that's just loose because I threw that in there when I was working today on some items. And I just have another. I love that color. So that's just in there. Uh, I have these pipe cleaners from uh, an activity I did at school yesterday, just up in here. Um, some stickers, um, you're getting a reflection, but they're bee stickers. I was working on something with the kids at school. Bunch of seed packets. This is left over, not from my business. This is left over from when I used the bag yesterday to carry things in to uh, an after school program that I run at my local school. Okay, now that's empty. Then you have these other smaller ones here. Don't have anything in there. I have reward stickers over in here that was just left over from that program yesterday. Got these in the dollar store. I use that a lot for incentives in any classroom that I'm working in. Some paint chips, paint chips for that you get in Home Depot. And these I picked up because there is an art project I want to work on where you do things in the, um, like the girls do their hair in that fashion where it goes from light to dark. Oh, I forget what that's called, but, um, and then you can punch these out in shapes of circles and you can make some really interesting artwork with that. I'm just going to step out for one second, guys, shut you off. My husband just texted me to see if we want pizza and I have to tell him we already ate. I'll be back in a flash. Okay, guys, I'm back. I'm going to lean up against the wall so you don't shake as much. Didn't want him to go and get pizza when we already ordered two pies. So thank goodness for technology. All right. What else do I have in here? M more of these paint chips. Um, you can Google that paint chip art. Uh, and also on Pinterest if you guys use Pinterest. And you can get a lot of great ideas how to use these. And this is a free project because you can get these samples and then punch out the shapes and then use them to make art. So check that out, guys, if you're interested. Let's see if I have any more. Yeah, I have some more in there more. At least I'm cleaning out my bag because I didn't like the way it was organized. Okay, and then on this other small pocket, I don't have anything except some leftover felt. And then in this other waterproof pocket, 
that's lined utterly smooth hand cream and that's my four ounce cream that I like in the winter and I forgot to be using it and my hands are all cracked. Google eyes, about 200 Google eyes in there from yesterday. That's it. So the interior is empty except for a little cotton ball, which I don't know why that's in there. All right, guys, so that's the interior empty of the Get Carried Away tote. And you can see how huge, I'm going to just, oh, pen. Um, it's a hard bottom, but you can see it's really, really big. It's a huge base, and uh, it holds its shape. It stands up really nicely when it's empty, and I, I enjoy that with these Vera bags. I don't like slouchy bags. I hate them, actually. And um, when this is empty, it keeps its shape in part because of this hard bottom and the width of the base. So I like that. Okay. The side exterior pocket, I had my phone in today. I have this Lola's Natural Alternative Go Away Germs Protective Hand Cleanser. That was a free sample at a trade show I was at, and it's really nice. So I was working with dirt yesterday uh, outside in the garden, so I was keeping that with me. A Sharpie, a pen, and that's empty. And look how deep this pocket is. This is the entire width of the side wall of the bag, and I think, I think personally, which I can measure it, I think it's more than halfway. Goes up to, let's see, it's about eight and a half inches. And then you definitely have less than eight and a half inches up. So this is more than halfway up. And it's got this band here. And I put my phone in here, my phone charger, and I never feel like it's going to fall out. Front pocket, today I don't have anything, and that's the middle piece of the front of the bag where these straps come down your pocket sits in between these two straps and this pocket is nice too it doesn't pop out as much as the side pockets there's not as much give but I fit things in there as well the opposite side pocket I have um, I think this is the clear part of my lip stain and then a sharpie glue stick. Can't go anywhere without a glue stick. Never know. Here are the white radishes that I was missing yesterday. And that's white new. There's my lip stain, which is CoverGirl. And then this pocket back here. Another glue stick. And business card from a trade show. So I use this bag a lot for a lot of different things, but um, it just holds so many things. I wanted you to see the insane amount of things, what is this, felt, that I was able to put in there yesterday. And I really can't say enough. I got a lot of compliments on this bag yesterday. I do have the stay cooler that matches. It's downstairs. And I also have a little hipster. So it is definitely my summer kit. Again, I am a huge fan of the Get Carried Away tote. I highly recommend it can't speak to whether it's going to be on the website or not. Check it out. Um, Vera bags, when they're this large, are just, to me, the most versatile purchases besides, uh, you know, my handbags and my wristlets. I think these are fantastic. So I hope you've enjoyed the bag of the day and the emptying of the bag of the day and some brief overview of the Get Carried Away tote by Vera Bradley in Sun Valley. And I will speak to you guys soon. Have a great night.